And finally, today, St George's Day is not just Prince Louis's birthday, it's also William Shakespeare's. And in his honour, stars of screen and stage, including Dame Judi Dench, have been celebrating the Bard in his hometown on a landmark occasion, the 90th anniversary of the opening of its famous theatre. From Stratford-upon-Avon, Amy Lewis reports. To Shakespeare, all the world was a stage, but this was his home. On the streets of Stratford-upon-Avon, they have celebrated his birthday in theatrical style. I think that Shakespeare really did a lot for culture, um, really did a lot for um, women. I think the way he put women in his books is very interesting and very forward-thinking. Why did you want to come here on Shakespeare's birthday? Well, it's much ado about nothing, really. Make thick my blood. Dame Judi Dench says her greatest performances have been playing some of his greatest characters. But this is a role she never expected to play, shepherding sheep alongside Sir Kenneth Branagh as they were honoured by the town for their contributions to Shakespeare's work. So we saw the pictures of you um, herding sheep down Sheep Street. Yes, of course. <laughs> they well, if you're a freeman, you can have your sheep down Sheep Street. And when I said it, do I get the sheep? They said, oh no. But then, yesterday, they arrived. It was heavenly. As an actor, is there anything like playing Shakespeare? Does anything compare? Well, Shakespeare has had the largest influence on me of anything that has ever happened to me. Stephen Fry starred as Malvolio in the Twelfth Night at the Globe. Sweet lady. But his love of Shakespeare began much earlier. In a really nerdy way, when I was about 17 or 18, I wrote out a commentary on every single one of the plays. I read the plays and wrote the plot and the characters in, in different coloured inks, you know. <laughs> if it was a comedy, it was green, I think, and if it was a tragedy, black ink and a history, red ink, you know. And, and um, it sounds ridiculous, but it, it, I think that's, you know, it just gripped me. And centuries after his death, Shakespeare continues to inspire and educate, be that on the stage, screen or these streets. Amy Lewis, ITV News.